My name's Mike. My name's Herman. Today we are going to replace the rad on this. What's the year? 2008 Dodge 3500. With what kind of engine? 6.7 liter Cummins. All right, so if you guys want to figure out how to do this yourself, just use some back air tools. Find out, stay tuned. Am I recording? Yeah, I am. Hey, Mikey, tell me what you're doing tonight or today. Cheers. Yeah, bud. <laughs> <laughs> the fridge should be, uh, I don't know if it's plugged in, plug it in. We're changing the rad on this bitch. One second, let's take a look. I'm doing a walk around. Mirrors out, boys. So it is a 35, 37s? 37s by the looks of it, eh? Good old 6, 7, Cummins 2008. Okay, let's uh, run up to the rad here. This thing's ignorant. Okay, we're changing the rad. What the f***? Ew. Look at those. Yeah, let's, we're changing the rad. Um, let's get us all set up here. Okay, you first, beer to work. you would take this plastic antler off. And yeah, push clips. We're gonna take off uh, one, two, three, four. It looks cool. Were those four? Uh, what is that? Thirteen mil? Mm -hmm. I'll get you a tray. You're gonna lose all your shit. Then we're just gonna fold, fold this AC condenser out. Okay. Let's see if we can get this out before you finish your beer here, man. I brought a yeah. Here, swing that. Uh, pick that up and swing it towards me. Ah. Ew. Okay, next up, let's uh, get this intercooler out. A firefly. Okay, well, we're going to, if you see, let me stand back here. Intercooler, you got these charge pipes, there's a boost tube, so boost comes in. Let's just give her a soak. Boost goes out. I did backwards, don't in the comments here, but. <laughs> in the comments. Bro, the biggest bullies. <laughs> And then I'm also gonna spray this just here. This stuff's amazing. You bought me this? Yeah. Yeah, I pocket. I actually meant to grab it for myself, and I left it here. Yeah, no, it's mine now. Peace. Sure. Okay, we're gonna soak that up. Mike's gonna drink a beer, and we're gonna get back to. <laughs> These clamps loosened off. Just a couple threads there. Got to pull those out a little bit more. <laughs> we're gonna undo these two 10 mils. Just impactor. Loosen them right off? Or yeah, pull them right out, guy. Because it slides off. Soon. Yeah, just yank her. Yeah. yeah. Just, just send it. Okay, so we got the two intercooler boots off. Got those two 11 mils, and then these are the two 10 mils. Okay, lift straight up. My <laughs> intercooler's off, and Mike made a discovery. What are we looking at, man? That's a queen bee. <laughs> Okay, let's um get this out. Get stung by that thing. We'll hose it off. Okay, we're gonna take this cooler off. We got one, two bolts right here. Does this guy come off? We'll take it. Yeah, wow, we'll take yeah. it off. What is it though? One, two. One's gonna be power steering. One's gonna be um ATF maybe. Yeah, ATF. So we'll undo those. Okay, yank that out. We took the two. Uh, what are they? Thirteen mil. Oh, Up top. Man. Pull her out and then swing her out to your side. This is gross. You know how she's gonna be gross. I can't get this stupid clip. Don't be a pussy. Don't snap it. Why? It's a scrap rat. Ew. Holy sh. Man, everything on this truck is. What do you get when you buy it from Alberta? Yeah, you got Alberta. Whoa. Clamps off. It's slippery, man. That looks Clamps off. Okay, this handler's out. We just got a bungee cord here, and I didn't want to put too much stress onto this guy, so. Again, zero tension. That's just keeping it out of the way. This guy we're taking out next. Taking a 13 mil. Everything mm -hmm. 13. Just going through this grill. There you go. Well, that's nice. It just falls down. Yep. Almost okay. there. Okay, taking a beer break, screwing around. Wetted the concrete here. 
just to keep us cool because it's hot out here. We uh, forgot that we had to uh, drain the coolant, so pop the rad cap off. Mikey's gonna be underneath there undoing it. I'll show you on the new rod. What are you looking for? So this is a rad cap hole just for perspective. On the opposite corner all the way down here, you're going to have a, eh, just a drain plug. It's gonna undo here and coolant's gonna piss out this hole here. Lowell's miss of best stuff. Mike just burns his hand doing this. <laughs> she leaking? You bought coolant, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll make a list of everything that's needed afterwards. I went to Mopar, it's two bucks cheaper a bottle at Mopar. Price all right? Yeah. Is it pre-mixed? No, I, well they sell it pre-mixed, but I didn't get the thing. Okay, while it's draining, we're gonna take up this upper rod support. Looks like we got 10, whatever that is, 13. We're gonna keep the hood ha uh, latch here. I don't wanna F with that too much. We're gonna scribe, just put a paint mark on both sides so we know everything lines up. Then we're gonna take this and we're gonna swing it over here. Hopefully not short it out on the battery terminals. We'll put a glove, welding glove over that just to keep that insulated. And we'll fold this up and over. Like he's starting to work on undoing that. I forgot that they got these long 10 mils that hold the rad to the upper rad support. So he's just gonna take, uh, he's gonna take that out. He's got one of those 10 mils there, another 10 mil here, and then two bolts, two bolts. Yeah, it should be able to swing out. This is our bolt trays right here, good old sour cream. What would you call these, buckets? Dub yeah, unplug it, and then we got rolls of tape just as we're running out here. Um, yeah, yeah, I s unplugged that just so you could get into here, oh, that okay. stud. So we got these ones out. So again, what we said, two there, two there, and then the rad ones here. Okay, lift this guy up and swing her out. Hey, not bad. Keep the, yeah, we're gonna keep that cord on, I don't wanna undo it. Watch the battery, and we'll be fine. You wanna cord it, or that's fine? Sweet. Well, unless we hit it. We'll be fine. But now we're starting to see the rad finally, eh? Okay, let me set you guys down. Exactly how it goes. Okay, we're gonna be taking off. Um... Got you got an eye packs? Oh, yeah. Let's see those. Didn't you get these on uh, at Home Depot? Didn't you see yeah, like three for sale. 40 or something? No, they were. Three for pumps? 90? No, pumps and uh, vice grip, or no, pumps and side cutters for $33 or something. You should have bought me some, man. That's a steal. Oh, yeah. Pay 20 for a snap on set. So we're taking these clamps off. Best brand. Here, one sec. I can't see shit, but I'm hoping this was working for you guys here. There you go. You got that nice and loose. Keep going, Vire. Try. Oh. oh, don't not my. So we took a little bit of a break back at it. We got the upper rad hose off, lower rad hose off. Um, that's all that's left. This little clip thing just pulls up and you should be able to go like this and then pull it straight up. I'll show you on the other one. This one needs to go straight up. We're just gonna take this clamp off because it's getting blocked by the rad. If we look over here, this is that area, this is where that clamp was. That boot, I should say, intercooler boot. This is a base, a base. It's seats on a little rubber stump here. Rubber stump sits on the car. This has to be lifted up that way, the distance of that before it even gets freed. So we're just gonna remove that boot, lift it up, see what happens. So we got the clamp out. This monkey's gonna try wrestling this out. <laughs> right here, he's got the AC with a low pressure switch. Right here, he's got the poo bucket. Hoping he falls into the poo bucket. Hey, you want to be careful? I told him I'd give him a hand right here. Hey, this comes out. Looks like that comes out. Fan shroud, right? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and chuck it. Yeet. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Are you okay? Sorry, I fell. Monkey eat it. Here's the leg. Here. See that little pinhole right there? Move your head. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like poo. 
Take a look at this fan, guy. That's too bad. Okay. I bought the epoxy to try to fix it, but then I couldn't get it in on the right angle. I'm not sure if you're serious or yoking. I am serious. Holy shit, that's a big fan. Mike, stare at the camera and let us know what we did today. We pulled her out. out. There you go, boys. We pulled her out. out. Here's a Raptor Pro tip. What are we doing, Mike? We are taping cardboard to the front of the radiator. What's that going to prevent? It's going to prevent us from screwing up all the fins. There you go. Okay, we need to do a... Better job. We need to do an intro. That was yeah. Not sure if I mentioned this, on the rad, it's going to have these rubber bump stop looking things. The new ones came with it. And as you see, these little nut certs, these ones are inserted. The new ones come with these little china... It's like sheet metal that's folded over like this and it's got a nut cert on it. They don't really fit too tight, so we're going to put it in after the rad's in because it's going to be a little bit of a jiggle sesh to get in. This guy fell out. But yeah, so we got these ones onto the new rad. Then we got the cardboard over the rad. And now we're going to drop it in. Okay, so we got the rod just sitting in place. This boot was a bit of a pain just because this clamp right here is like perma clamped. So we just had to kind of push it, finesse it. But in place, we're going to go get the Mikey that guy right there. Plastic guy, seat that in place. That one just bolts, looks that, 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 slides into place down there. And then this was that top bolt that went to the yep. rad mount. Mm -hmm. Sweet, we'll get on it. All right, so the rad pan's in, the shroud is in. Remember to put those inserts back. I'll show you mills, they're 13s, aren't they? Mother, yeah, they're 13. So these are the little inserts I'm talking about. Just a flag thing with a captured nut, we could call it back. Mike's doing the rad hose. So after we do the rad hose, order of progression, we're gonna do the shroud bolts. Then these are the um, we'll call it that upper radiator metal support bracket. This guy. Bolt that in and then we'll also just tidy up the hoses back into their clips here. Go inside, put your heater, actually here, I'll show you guys how to do that. Sounds like a tractor. Look! <laughs> All right, so heater, max, turn off the AC. You don't want, don't be on any defrost. So we'll put it just to face only, and then the fan on low. Because if it's on high, it's gonna cool it. With the heater on and the fan on, it opens up the heater control valve, so it lets the, coolant circulate in the heater core right here. So instead of getting blocked off here, it's allowing the coolant flow here, which we need. And we're going to wait for the coolant, hopefully it's not in the way, to get up to about operating temperature. And we want to feel hot air coming through. So we're currently burping the radiator, but we got it back running again. Hopefully everything goes well.